ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣಪತಿ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚೈತನ್ಯ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಗೋಂದಾವಲೇಕರ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ರಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಗಾಡ್ every human being is struggling for happiness there is no exception to this why is it then that nobody achieves it the simple reason is that the search is being conducted where happiness cannot exist it exists only in god one must first ardently earn for him and that earning only comes from nama smarana we should rivet the mind to the attainment of god leaving the body to float on the current of destiny as destiny directs the body and the course of worldly affairs may meet with happiness or unhappiness they may have a smooth course or meet with troubled waters and appear about to sink the mind will be unshaken in its state of happiness and peace if it is fixed on god i know you people are righteous minded and practice nama smarana and i feel sorry that you do not succeed in having genuine firm love for nama the divine name everyone should introspect to discover what is it that precludes such love can you ascribe it to circumstances it appears that man sets store more by material means and things that are supposed to conduce to happiness rather than by happiness itself material things being perishable the pleasure they yield is also short lived true happiness should be independent of things and cause so we should pray god for permanent happiness not for material things a railway station was famous for excellent fruits a passenger alighted to buy some and started haggling about the price no thinking no thinking man will continue to haggle beyond the halting time of the train similarly we may run after material things but not let the more valuable permanent spiritual gains be missed resolve to maintain anusandhana at all costs to do this is to go counter to the way of the common world it is an art to do prapancha efficiently and yet maintain anusandhana the true devotee is an adept in this art therefore he lives immersed in god 
and finds true joy in the world. Let us to leave the bodily pleasures and pains to destiny and try to do namasmarana with persistence and sincerity. This will bring a balanced mind with the help of which one can easily wade through the mire of worldly life and still be unscathed. Namaste Shanade Devi Kashmira Puramasini Tomaham Prathaye Nityam Vidya Dhanancha Dehime Goodbye.